Hi, this is Soma from Spitfire Audio with an example using two different libraries from the original series. So I have Cinematic Soft Piano here and I have Intimate Strings here. And I put a little demo together to show you uh, how you can use it and what the sounds within this library sound like. Each of those are really light. So the piano library, for example, is only two gigabytes, whilst the strings is only just over three gigabytes. And both of these come in our own player. And if we have a look at uh, Cinematic Soft Piano specifically, this one has actually been recorded with the same model as we've recorded the Lab Soft Piano, but we re-recorded -re everything, sampled it a lot deeper, and gave you some extra features to it that are really handy to have. In the drop-down menu, for example, you have a few different presets. Then over here you have your expression and your dynamics faders. With the piano though, the dynamics fader means that on the bottom left you can see in the info section, it will limit the lowest velocity playable. And then over here you can call up some of the effects it has. So reverb, tightness, hammer, action, and the pedal noise is something that you can add to this as well. Then over here, you have your closed microphone, your mix, which is a mixture of the tree and the ambient microphones, and then also pad function here. This is what a mix sound like. And this is, for example, without any reverb and the closed microphone on. And then this handy feature over here, the pad, which has been put through a magnetic tape machine and some other output effects create this really lovely ethereal texture. Let's put some piano in there too. back to how I had it and then moving on to the strings to have a quick look at those you have here in the drop down menu your various articulations various longs uh, shorts and then also some pizzicato and colenios your typical expression and dynamics and this one offers your reverb release tightness which are reserved for the short notes and then down here you get a close microphone tree and another feature is called vintage I will show you all these different sounds whilst I go through the demo. Let's listen back to it. And the idea I had for this one particular was to imagine something like an underwater exploration scene. So let's have a listen. Thank you. 
right, so the first instrument that I started with was the piano. I'm only using the mix for this one. I did have a lot of reverb on there though. I'm going back and forth between a C sus4 chord and a A flat uh, major seventh chord and various degrees of that one. You can hear the pedal and the hammer action. I think that gives it really nice character. On a separate channel, I have the pad sound whereby I am playing exactly the same chords. I could have just added it over here, but I was using a different pedaling with my foot. So there were some notes crossing over that I didn't want to have with the actual piano sound. So I kept it on a separate channel just to have a little bit more control over it. <laughs> Then moving on to the string section, I'll just play this vintage sound first. This is what the normal concert would sound like. If I put a bit of close and tree mic. Okay, just putting that back. Especially when I was trying to keep thinking about this and the water exploration theme, the vintage sound thought came in really handy. Those are layered with some long harmonics. And at this point, while the melody is going up, I thought I'd make a little bit more of a moment out of it and introduce some longs over here. Also really enjoyed bringing in these different textures of these different longs the strings offer. When I was thinking about the layout a little bit, I wanted to start with the vintage sounds, but then bring those out and come back with some other textures in there. So I'm kind of going from the harmonics over to the longs. And here I'm playing this A flat major chord and just playing it in as a swell. So 
supported that with the pad sound from the piano in the lower register. And last thing I wanted to add to the section was slowly introducing some pizzicatos in the bass section. So what I did for this really is kind of was listening back from the very beginning and then sort of tried to feel where was a good point for the pizzicatos to enter. Here I wanted to bring in a little bit more movement, so I'm staying with the pizzicatos for now and just put in a really simple pattern. So on this pattern I'm building with some shorts, so I'm just using a slightly different rhythm here. And underneath that, I wanted to continue with the bases that I already had here at this point, but I put them on a different channel because once everything was in, I wanted to have them a little bit drier. So I put down the reverb and also added a little bit more close microphone, a little bit less tree. And on top of that, I wanted to write a melody. And again, thinking about the different textures that I have with the lungs, I wanted to introduce some harmonics first and then maybe take over with the different articulations. So here first, I put in this line with the harmonics. And I'm taking over with the lungs over here, which sort of acts as my main melody. Here I'm repeating this melody, but I'm just putting it in octaves and I have a little variation at the end. But 
I didn't want the harmonics to drop out completely, so I'm just sort of dancing around the main melody and embellish it. And same thing as I did earlier with giving it a little bit of a moment, I have here the A flat major seventh chord, giving it a swell. The last bit I've done in this section is giving this a little counter melody on the longs as well. If I'm quickly going back to the shorts, you can see that I'm just put the last phrase into octaves leading into the next section, but this helped me to emphasize this as well. Taking out the shorts for a little bit, just to give it this little bit of a drop and starting this next section with the piano again. However, I'm using Again, a little bit of a drier sound, using the close microphone, a little bit less of the mix. Keeping this pattern kind of repeated and just having some really lovely soft flotandos together with this starting. I did want to bring back a little bit more movement, but rather than bringing back these shorts, I wanted to use something slightly softer, so I've got these consort shorts here. And to create a little bit more of an interesting texture, I introduced some pizzicatos together with them. And here I'm just coming back with another melody using the low register of the lungs. These longs are really lovely and I think they're a great first choice. But if you wanted to take it uh, to the next step, for me, I would probably start looking into some legato strings rather than longs, just so you get that lovely crossover fade between the notes. What I like with these also, though, is the lower register. I think it's got some really nice full sounds. I have added some bassier sounds over here as well. Gives it a nice low rumble. And then I've only just added some harmonic intrigue over here with the harmonics and the longs. Let's just have a look at them. Okay. 
the harmonics also helping me uh, moving over into the last section. So what I have here is I just continued with the shorts. Added some really sparse piano on top of that. I thought it would be a really nice point to bring back the pad as well, just to fill it out a little bit. And the long harmonics and the flotando help me just tying those sections over and bringing it to an end. That was basically my thought process on writing the whole demo. So with that in mind, let's just listen to the whole thing again. I hope this gave you a good overview of what these libraries can do and what they sound like. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.